Hey guys, it's just the true feel, and today, I guess I'm going to express my feelings on how this year went, because, man, this year has been crazy, jacked up, the struggle has been truly real, this is just the one year no one wants to talk about, and it's like, we had so many things happen, from Trump, all this police shootings, all these, a lot of people who's been dying that's been famous and there's not many things that have been happening that's been good the one thing that gave a sign of hope was the Cubs winning winning the World Series which was awesome and I guess my opinions on this year was like what I said I think this year has not been great honestly I think for anyone it has not been a good year just because of everything that's happened, and I guess how how this year went for me was well, this year went by very quickly in my opinion. School, um, fresh, um, I started as a um, I mean, I'm no longer a freshman; I'm a sophomore, and well, it's been interesting. That's all I gotta say. Uh, yeah, just. New, well, same environment, and money issues, someone had a summer job that was god-awful, just, you know, for multiple reasons, uh, I've been very bored lately on PlayStation, I've been having the lack of motivation to upload, and I've been waiting for Xenoverse 2 to come out, and, yeah, and when I, they came out, I was really happy when that game first came out, but, yeah, and then, yeah, all YouTube has been also jacked up. Like for instance, you got drama lord. Also things like I remember like the Tobasca situation, and now he just lost all his subs and stuff. It's just been crazy. I think uh, what's his face? Um, I forgot his name. Um, Leafy. Yeah, Leafy. Leafy's sub count has been down. It's like. People on YouTube have been doing so many things just to get views. I'm over here like, I haven't done none of this. I'm barely getting any views. I wish I could have the views and subscribers they had. And then Zoe Bogue, who's gone, who, which triggers me how she gets like 1 million subscribers in like a matter of a few months. That's quick. And all she has to do is practically be mo almost partly half nude for it. And I'm just like, you know, if she can do that and get all them subscribers, maybe I should, like, get a nice body, get a six-pack, and then just play video games, have, like, my shirt off, and then proceed, and then, you know, like, do flex and stuff, and then do pull-ups and push-ups and stuff like that. Do that old stuff on cam and stream that stuff. Maybe I can get one million subs, but I don't have a six-pack, and I'm not going to do that. And, well... Yeah, and also, I've been kind of been dealing with some issues and stuff like that, and also, there's some people. <sighs> yeah, this year has been so jacked up and crazy, and, well, yeah. If you guys want to tell me how your year has went, please tell me, or just, like, us give a quick summary, because, honestly, I don't think anyone liked this year. This year also has been the year of memes, because there's been a crap ton of memes, memes that have been going on, from the B-movie script to freaking Comet and Doc Comet, or from that movie, um, that Muppet, the new Muppets movie, whenever I came out. I forgot, it was like, um, when it had that fake Comet and stuff, that was kind of, that movie was alright. And then, uh, what else did it have? Zama Sninian! Whatever. Other than that, this year's been... Kind of crazy, and then Dokkan, for play, people who play Dokkan, with the Super Saiyan Blue Cow Cam banner, how, this is, and also, like, how it's so, supposed to originally have Super Vegito, but it didn't, you know, and then, oh yeah, I forgot, uh, before I forget how we had Infinite Warfare, and then um, Battlefield 1, and now um, Battlefield 1 is still doing good, even though some people didn't expect it the way it was, like, but it was still, it's been still going good. And then Infinite Warfare, how this is when you know your game is bad. When you no card has been ever sold for about a buck, right when the game comes out, and all you have to do is trade in on a, a new game that came out, and you can actually get the game for a buck. 
they have been having multiple sales. Heck, I checked on the PlayStation Store right now. They had a bundle for that Call of Infinite Warfare that includes Call of Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered, and the Destiny Connection. Oh, right, what's going on, Destiny? Well, for what I, what I heard from friends, a few uh, while after the um, Lazarus came out. They said um, it hasn't really been fun. They lost some of its fan base. Like, I know there's still a good amount of people that play it, but it hasn't been doing so hard. And then Destiny 2 might not have anything that, like, nothing you can transfer over from Destiny 1, which kind of stinks. Which I said, I wasn't going to get Rise of Lion, but Destiny 2 I would probably get. Just to see how everything went. And from the looks of it, yeah, and... Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to get it. And Activision hasn't been doing so hot lately, especially from that they, that big loss. They haven't been doing so hot. And then some of these movies that have been coming out. Like, a lot of these movies are good, but it's just... A lot of these rated R movies, I I just wonder about how all these ki- parents are letting their kids see this. I'm just... Like, Sausage Party. I haven't even seen that movie yet, and little kids have been seeing it. Deadpool, I haven't even seen that movie neither, but I'm going to eventually. That movie is funny. And I, but other people have been seeing it, like Kill Bill and stuff like that, and also like how Mom has told me things she has to deal with as she's like a substitute teacher as an elementary for elementary school, and how kids that are like in third grade and second grade are actually freaking already starting the process of shopping. What the heck? This generation, man. This generation is falling down. All I gotta say is for ne- next year, 2017, I hope that it's better, honestly. I hope. I have a feeling it's gonna be it's gonna be a breakthrough for everybody. Everyone who's been struggling, it's gonna be a breakthrough and it's gonna change completely. And I guess if if anything, if if you guys want to play, like if you're playing for anyone or for anyone specifically, I play for Donald Trump because, well, he's gonna have a lot to deal with, assassinations, death threats, everything. You see everything that's been going going on now with all these rights and stuff about that rights and stuff. That dude's gonna have a lot to deal with, and especially with those like stuff the government is hiding, he's gonna get to know all that stuff. It's you gotta feel bad for Donald Trump, man. He's well, honestly, I don't feel bad for him at the same time. It's like, you feel a little bit bad, but at the same time, he put this on himself. He didn't have to do all this. He's he's retarded. He's stupid anyway. I don't even support the dude. I only did what God said. Even though I can't vote. And and hopefully, for anyone who's listening, that's on the generation I am, I am which is like, um... Like, like, high school right now. Like, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Please vote. So we don't, this is a lesson. You see what America, who, what, well, even though we know what God said, you see what happened. We lied with two people that no one liked. You see what, what it came down to. Please vote. Please not vote. Please, just vote. Vote if if you want change to happen. Vote for who you want change, who, vote for who you want, or vote for who you know ch- that's going to cause that good change to happen, the change that you want. Don't just not vote. Please vote, guys. So we don't have to go down to these two bad decisions. Between someone who has the creepiest smile in the world and, well, we told. I guess that's all I gotta say. And hopefully I can upload more next year. And do Dokkan content. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this is kind of short and kind of, I didn't say much. It's my little message. I'll see you guys later. Peace.